I hope you are watching this. All 1,013 of you. Because if you are, then you're responsible for this video's existence. This channel is now four years old. When I launched the flip side with that first video on the Wii U, it was due to my love of the medium, passion for the subject, and an intense desire to connect with the community. I wanted to be able to talk about the things I was passionate about, that I annoyed my loved ones with every day, with a community of people that shared the same enthusiasm as me. I wanted an audience I could communicate with that would appreciate and enjoy the content I made. And while that was all well and good, despite working on creative projects in the past, at that point in time, I had never created a video before. I had no idea how to record a script. I resorted to setting up a makeshift studio in my car, balancing my phone on the dashboard, reading the script off of notes as I used the Voice Memos app to record in the background. I edited everything on a slow, broken old iPhone that lagged every time I swiped across the timeline of the video. I had no idea what I was doing, but for some reason, people came to watch. A complete stranger ranting off his argumentative essay about a Nintendo video game system. Yet. You were there for me, at the start of it all. As the months and years passed, life took over. New creative projects took my attention, school and work had to be prioritized over any creative endeavor, so uploads became more and more scarce. But even when they did happen, they went unseen by most. Whether this was due to a change in content from video essay to comedy, or just algorithm issues, I wasn't sure. But it, along with life's other reasons, contributed to my channel grinding to a halt. I tried a few times to resurrect the channel, but to little avail. I'd gotten better at constructing videos at this point, but I still didn't have a clear direction for what I wanted to make. I made videos on various topics. Video game content, foods I was craving, even an entire comedy show where I turned an old bedroom into a studio. I was all over the place. And even though some of these videos are still some of my favorite things I've ever put out, none of these videos got many views outside of my friends and family. At this point, a few years had passed since my last video, and I had almost given up on making content for YouTube. I had no plans to make any new videos, I was working on new creative projects, and YouTube soon became a distant memory. Something I once did, but not anymore. This all changed when my original Wii U video popped up in my recommendations. It was odd. At first glance, I recognized the video, but not as my own. It felt like so long ago. I clicked on it, and all at once the feelings of that original passion came flooding back to me. I was nostalgic and proud of my video once it ended, but I couldn't help but feel bittersweet about it. As I continued to reminisce and watch the other videos on my channel, I realized the pride I once felt for many of them was no longer there like it was for this original video. As I'd moved on in my YouTube career, I changed content from passionate video essays to comedy-based ones. Jokes felt immature, other weird attempts at humor I felt detracted from the videos overall, and these videos no longer satisfied me. I took them all down, privating almost everything on the channel, and what I was left with was depressing. A handful of videos all that remained of my entire YouTube career. This couldn't be how it ended. I wouldn't let it. I had to make at least one more video, if for nothing else than to feel content about leaving this part of my life behind. As I wondered about what to make for a final video, the presentation of the newest Zelda game was uploaded. 
one of my favorite game series ever. This was insane. I wanted to tell everyone, my friends, my family, go to social media, and then I finally realized this was what made me start in the first place. This love of the gaming medium, the intense desire to communicate about it with a community. This was it. I had a new goal. And with that, I opened a new document and began writing the script for a video called The Genius of Tears of the Kingdom. And well, you all know the story from there. So I hope you are watching this video. All 1,013 of you as of this video's release. Because you've given me something I never knew I could have. Something I've tried to achieve many times for many years now, but have always failed at. Something that I wanted for so long that eventually I lost track of how to achieve it, and eventually lost the motivation for. And that's a community of friends to talk about what I'm passionate about, an audience that I could communicate with, and that would enjoy the content I made. And all it ended up taking was simply talking about the things I was passionate about. Not trying to be a character of myself, or try super hard to be funny, or be anything other than my true self. A guy who loves talking about his favorite video games, and who loves meeting other people who love games. I hope you are watching this video. I hope all 1,013 of you are here, because if you are, then I can say thank you. From the bottom of my heart, thank you all so much. I've always wanted to do this, ever since I was a kid and was watching AVGN or PBG or even Eagle Raptor on Newgrounds. I never thought that one day, I would have an audience of my own that takes the time out of their day to listen to what I have to say and discuss it with me. Where I once lost sight of what it was I was doing on this platform, I am now hooked. I am here to stay on YouTube. Thank you all for being here. You're making my dreams come true.